Stephen, you must be happy to get back on track. Yeah, definitely, I think. But most important, as it was the last couple of games, that we've upped our performances. Team's starting to gel together um, and everybody's fighting the right way. And um, It's a big mention of the defence because they've been outstanding all season and the boys today um, got the goal, so fantastic. I was going to ask you that as well. You're, do you feel that the team is stepping up a level every week now? It's took a it's took a bit of time. It's, it, nobody uh, knows how long it takes when you change 14, 15 players in the summer. So getting to know each other and getting to know the likes of me, getting to know how Jack plays and Gary Oliver plays and uh, Faze plays. So then we start to link up. Like now, like in training, me and Faze doing the V one twos, running about the box and getting to know each other's runs. It, it all helps, and then you push in the right direction. It was quite hard to pick a man in the match today because it was everybody performed at a, a very high level. Yeah, but I said what I said to you a minute ago. The defence the last nearly all season has been amazing. I think we've got the best defensive record. So obviously um, the boys are working hard from the front, but the boys at the back have been f fantastic, including Robbie as well. Back to back clean sheets, and that gives the front players something to build on. Yeah, as that was one thing I said in there at the start uh, before the game. I said play the defence uh, the way we have been and we'll get the goals because it, it's got to turn it sometime for, for the strikers so pleased happy happy tonight You said earlier in the season when, you know we were talking before that that you felt that it was going to turn and yeah. it was going to come good you know and is it is that feeling there now that it is starting to Yeah it always turns Sandra the one thing about me is people know I never doubt my own ability um, plus when it's not going right for me Personally, I just go and work harder, as in off the pitch, going to the gym, doing the extra stuff and days off, and then eventually the little things do happen, like down a great header across and I tap it in, and then it gets me kickstart again. So the more goals I can get and up and running, I'll help the team. Two this afternoon, so what's that, 40, 40, how many to get to beat <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, when we done, uh, obviously, a great honour with the statue today, and that's what the the man said, he says, oh, I'm not sure you'll beat last season's, but if anybody knows me, that's just, it made me, no angry, but I came onto the pitch where we spring my step to try and get my goal, so, uh, what are we behind, 39? <laughs> I'll get, I'll get it, go, don't worry about that. You were sort of relieved to get it, I guess, when like, you could see when that first one went in, but just gives you that confidence as you say to go on and he could have had probably a hat trick didn't he? Yeah, I've been feeling in the games I've been playing well at party it last week and that last season I'm currently on it it's just come past the post and keep us saving out his legs where last year everything was going in but as I said it never when you when you work hard it always changes for you and as I said luckily I got into the end of Dan's header and then Faze puts the ball through and uh, put it into the corner it's probably a result that surprises a lot of people today, but it was certainly one that was merited. It was a result that Queen certainly deserved. Yeah, but I think if you look at all the results today, I think the bottom half all the teams generally won. So this league this year is going to be, I don't think there'll be an out and out runner away. So if we can keep our home form up and pick points up away from home, um, you just never know. And that ends the first quarter, the first round of fixtures. There's not much between the teams really, it's one of those funny links as it usually is. No, it? it is, it is, but as I said, we, at the start you're getting to know each other. I know you look back now and go, if we picked up extra points, maybe a broth away or whatever, we could have nicked out and filming at home. But the way we've ended the quarter, going into the next quarter, uh, with three games next week, um, hopefully we can build momentum and see where we can get to. It starts with Aloha next. The results recently against them haven't been great, so yeah. you're looking to turn that around? Yeah, definitely. Um, they're always a, a tough team. As uh, last Friday, I watched the game against Dundee United, and uh, they played excellent. So it'll be a tough task. We'll obviously go away, reflect on Monday, and then Tuesday and Thursday and Friday build to Allo and see how we can stop them. You can go into that game full of confidence in, in the way that you're playing. Now. Yeah, as I said, we we six off the top and going into three games. So uh, you just got to uh, give them respect the next three teams and but keep working because I think the work rate especially the first half an hour there we were we were right up for it and I think that showed with how the fans appreciated um, at the end of the game.